Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a vinyl unboxing. Now I have to preface this with saying I'm not a huge vinyl collector. I don't even own a record player. I just buy albums that have some sort of meaning to me and I use them for decoration, especially the vintage albums, which this is a vintage album and I'm so excited to share with you. So let's get into the video. So to give you all some background, I watched a lot of movies as a kid, cartoons, Disney, Don Bluth, what have you, right? Um, but I was also introduced to some really old classic films, some John Wayne movies, musicals, uh, The King and I, and one of those uh, movies was The Ten Commandments with Ewell Brenner and Charlton Heston. And I watched that movie religiously, you know, um, so many times. And so I thought, why not get the album? And so that's what I did because it was so cheap on eBay. And it's used, which I'm happy for because I didn't want to spend a lot to get a new vinyl. Plus, when it comes to these um, vintage or classic film vinyls, I feel like it's better if they're used because it just gives like a little more character to the album. Now this guy packaged this pretty well. He taped it all on the inside. Oh, let's see if I can get this out of here. And I think he did put it in a plastic sheet. So what I liked about this film um, is that it's a dramatization of the story of Moses leading the Hebrew slaves out of Egypt. And aside from that, you know, you're introduced um, to like a bunch of new characters. They're not necessarily named or in the Bible, right? So we have Moses' Egyptian mother, Bithia, um, some villains in the story like Master Baca, who was played by Vincent Price, which I had no idea. If you're a ghost fan, Vincent Price, I believe, was the model that Tobias modeled Cardinal Copia after. So that was interesting. Oh, it is taped. Oh my God. Oh, there's a note. I'm so excited. I like it when sellers like send notes. I don't know. I'm just like cheesy like that. Now this vinyl has I think about three different covers. The first one being like it's Charlton Heston as Moses. He's like in front of the the Red Sea and I was like mm, I don't know about that even though it's a really cool cover. What caught my eye though was there's a version of the album that has Yul Brenner on the front as Prince Ramesses and I don't know as a little kid I don't even know how old I was when I saw this film but I was so intrigued with Ramesses, even though he's like a jerk and he's like arrogant and he wants to take, he wants to be fair over Moses. There was just something about that man that got my gears turning, you know? So I really wanted to get this particular version of the album because it has him on the front. And I already have an album with him on the front when he was in The King and I. So I thought it was cool to have both. I think it's safe now to cut and rip open. <gasps> It's the back. He did put it in a nice little plastic sleeve, which I'm going to redo anyway. Oh my, this is taped. Okay, I want to flip it around for the first time. And it's, it's so funny that the note is right in front of your Brenner's face. <gasps> I love it. Let's take it out. I'm going to redo this sleeve anyway. Wow, oh, there he is. I don't know if you can see that the ring light's reflecting in all his glory. That is so cool. So this is Yul Brenner. He plays Ramesses in this version of the Ten Commandments. Charleston Heston is right here. He plays Moses. There's some people on the back. This is the scene where he comes down from Mount Sinai and gets all mad that people are worshiping the golden calf, right? And in the back we have these are some of the, I don't know if you can tell, the ring lights in the way. Um, some side characters that become important. I think this is Joshua and Lilia. Wow. And it's just like the story, I guess, of Cecile DeMille who filmed this. Oh, it opens. It's like a blindfold. Okay, we're going to open it together. I'm so excited, guys. Wow. Okay. So now let me see what it is. These are scenes from the movie, and next to them are the Bible verses that are prevalent to the exodus of the Hebrews, right? I guess in different parts of the movie. 
Oh, there's just so much nostalgia, like looking at these scenes. I don't know if I can show you. Uh, where is it? This one right here. This is Nefertiri, Princess Nefertiri and Ramesses. One of my favorite scenes in this movie is this scene where Ramesses goes to see his father in Princess Nefertiri. And ne Nefertiri, she loves Moses. She despises Ramesses. But they have like this weird tension, like enemies to enemies to maybe lovers. And so it's this whole thing that is just like a delicious scene for me. I don't know. It's just like, I love the way Yul Brenner carries himself as Ramesses. And it was just like, oh, the tension. So now let's pull these out. I think this is a double disc. Yes, it's a double disc. I had forgotten that this movie is like three hours long. So back in the day, you know, we had a two-sided or double tape VHS to watch this whole film. Here it is. Smells like antiques. <laughs> I like that smell. Now, since I'm not like a huge record collector, I don't, obviously I know when something is scratched. I don't know like if what to look for when it comes to like, oh, this is a mint record. It's still really good. You can still play it with minimal problems or no problems. Looks pretty clean. Not that I'm going to play this, right? This is going to go on my wall where I have my other vintage records. It's so cool to have this because it was such a part of my childhood. Another iconic Ramesses scene that I really love that kind of rang some bells um, and has a ghost connection. If you all follow me for a while, you know I'm a ghost fan. But um, it's when Moses comes back from the desert and he wants to beseech Ramesses, his brother, like, please let the Hebrews go. And Ramesses just obviously he refuses. And he just lays it into law that this is not going to happen. So he says this famous quote. So let it be written. So let it be done. When Ghost released officially Zenith worldwide, um, in the description on YouTube, it talks about, you know, this little playlist release called the 13 Commandments. And in the text, it says, so let it be written, so let it be done. So me being a lover of this film just geeked out because that's where I made the connection, right? The 13 Commandments, the 10 Commandments, Tobias loves old films and like, wow. But of course, the other side of this, which I found out later on Twitter, there's some lyrics in Metallica's Creeping Death that has the same line. Now, I don't know the meaning of that song. I haven't delved into it, but I just thought I made this connection and I was just geeking out about it. I was like, what? I love this movie. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. This is so nice. Like I am in love with this and I, I have the wall behind me over here in front of me, I should say. I think I'm gonna put him like catty corner away from the king and I. I'm just, I'm really happy guys. Like this is like, like I said, this is a part of my childhood. And it's just so pretty. He's so pretty. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is really awesome. I think I want to do more of these because there's another vintage album from my childhood soundtrack that I want to add to my collection. So let me know what y'all think about this video. If you like this kind of content, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know if you've seen this film. What are your thoughts about the ghost connection of the 13 Commandments with this famous line in the movie? And yeah, let me know what y'all think. I'll see y'all next time.